Let's check it out. Welcome back everyone to Retro Game Treasure Tuesday. As always, we'll be using our good old fashioned grading system to see just how good this month's box really is. So let's get started with our first game. We got Namco Museum Volume 1 on the PlayStation. What's there to say? Classic arcade games on one disc? What's not to love? Aside from the games, the museum's kinda cool. I didn't mess around here much, but it's a nice touch. But let's check out the games. What? Yeah, it took me a minute to figure this out, but you have to register your memory card at the beginning in order to play any of the games. I'm not gonna talk about each game. I'm sure everyone watching has played Pac-Man, Galaga, Pole Position, or Rally X before. However, I've never played new Rally X before because I've never come across it. I've also never played Toy Pop before, but this is footage of my wife playing and she kind of liked it. I've also never played Bosconian before, but it's kind of like Asteroids meets Galaga, I guess. But hey, classic arcade on one disc? I'm gonna give it an A. Next up we got Rugrats in Paris on the Game Boy Color. A few months ago I received another Rugrats game also on the Game Boy Color that I didn't hate. And I discussed how I remember watching the very first episode when it debuted on Nickelodeon. But I've never seen Rugrats in Paris. I believe I was starting high school around the time this movie came out, so I was a bit too mature for such childish content. With that being said, this game sucks. It appears to be nothing more than a bunch of piss poor minigames. Unlike the previous Rugrats game, I have no interest in playing this one ever again. I gotta give it a D. Last up, we got Twin B on the Famicom. A while ago I stumbled upon this series on my SD2 SNES, and I liked it so much that I bought my first complete in box Super Famicom game. I've said it before, but I wasn't a big fan of shooters as a kid, but I've grown to appreciate them as an adult. Although I gotta admit, I kind of like cute em ups more. I think the reason for that is they're not your average space shooter, and you never really know what's coming up next. There's something about the imagination and the creativity that I just absolutely love. And while I didn't like this one as much as the one on the Super Famicom, I still had a good time with it. I'm gonna give it a B. And with that being said, that gives us a rounded up score of B. And of course, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you again next time.